Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing DIY summer snacks, which is literally like combining my three favorite things, which is YouTube, summer, and food. <laughs> so like this video was like enjoyable for me all around, so I really hope that you guys like it. But anyway, it's going to be a collab with a friend here on YouTube. Her channel will be right here. I'm pretty sure her name is a G A G Tutorials. I almost say AJ every time. It's A G Tutorials. Her picture will be right here. And then um, her channel will be in the description as well as the video she's doing, which will be summer life hacks. And I'm sure it's going to be amazing, so make sure you guys go check it out. And yeah, with that being said, let's just get right into the video. Alright, so for the acai bowl, you're going to need some acai, some frozen blueberries, a banana, oats, a mug or a bowl, and a spoon. So I'm going to take my neutral bowl, but you can use like any blender that you have. And I'm just going to take the cup and I'm going to add all my frozen blueberries. And then I'm going to add half of my banana and I'm going to use the other half on top. Then I'm going to add my acai and it's in like the juice form. So I'm going to add about like a half a cup maybe. And this just makes one serving if you're wondering. And then I'm going to go ahead and add the blade on top and I'm going to blend it up. And now that that's all blended, I'm going to go ahead and pour it into my mug and I'm going to add my toppings. I'm just going to add some oats and the other half of the banana. I'm just going to slice it up and lay it down on the top and it should like float because of the oats. And then I'm going to add frozen blueberries on top as well. And that's it. Let's go. Now for the ocean water, you're going to need Sprite, a mason jar filled with ice, some Swedish fish, some blue food coloring, and a bowl and a spoon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour my Sprite into the mason jar with the ice, and I'm going to add a drop of food coloring, and it was a little too dark for me, and I just like to add a little bit of Sprite so that I could dilute it. And then I'm going to go ahead and take out the ice, and then I'm going to add in the Swedish fish. And then I'm going to add a straw, and I wanted to add one for decoration so you can kind of like know what it is in there. So it's not just some weird thing floating, so I just kind of squeeze it in there, and that's it. <laughs> now for the chocolate covered bananas, you're going to need a banana, some chocolate chips, a spoon, sprinkles, mini chocolate chips, some popsicle sticks, and a plate. So what I'm going to do is peel the banana and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut it in half and then I'm going to stick my popsicle stick through it so that way you have something to hold when you eat it and then I'm going to take my chocolate chips and I'm going to melt them in the microwave and it took me a minute to melt them but it depends on your microwave and then I'm just going to go ahead and stir them to get any lumps out. And then I'm going to dip my banana in there. And I used the spoon to help like get it all over it because dipping it in didn't really work. So I just used the spoon to spread it all out. Then you can go ahead and add your toppings. For this one, I just did purple sprinkles, but you can really do whatever you want. You can do like chopped nuts or whatever you want to do. But I just like sprinkles and chocolate chips. So I'm going to repeat the last step. Um with this one just the same thing put chocolate over it and then i'm gonna put mini chocolate chips on it and then once i put all the toppings on there and they're done i'm gonna go ahead and stick them in the freezer for a few hours and then they're done And 
And lastly, the apple snacks. So everything's gonna need a knife, a plate, some sun butter or peanut butter, an apple, and some toppings. And I just use sunflower seeds and chocolate chips. So I'm gonna take my apple, wash it, dry it off, and then I'm gonna cut it into little like circles. And by the way guys, for this I use sunflower seed butter and that's because I'm allergic to peanut butter, but you can really add like whatever spread that you like. And I'm only going to use three slices, but I'm going to use my knife to carve out like the middle of it because that's the part you don't want to eat, it's like the seeds and stuff. So let's go ahead and carve that out on all of your apple slices. And then you're going to go ahead and you're going to spread your spread on there, which in this case I am again using some flower seed butter. And then for my toppings, I just did chocolate chips on one. And then for the other one, I went ahead and I did some sunflower seeds. And for the third one, I did a mixture of the chocolate chips and the sunflower seeds. And that is it. Alright guys, so that was the video. I really hope you guys liked it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when I upload, which will be every Wednesday and Sunday. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe if you liked this video. And again, hit the notification bell that way you know when I upload. And this is a collab with my friends here on YouTube. Again, their channel will be right here. Just want to let you guys know again. Um, and it's HG Tutorials and they're doing a summer life hack video. So make sure you go check it out. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.